I'm gonna put the nine on my Quartzwood Crasher though for now. So now it's a 15-15 trample. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna um, um, uh, orb, uh, uh, Xanathar? <laughs> Xanathar me? I, I will not. Uh... For how many turns will you not? Wow, one for Whoa. each power. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Chill. What's up? It's Shuffle Up and Play. Today, the Commander Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen and everyone in betwixt, I have invited you here to build a Commander deck using only $50. What do you have in store for us? Hi, my name is Skylar and my Commander is Xanathar Guild Kingpin. At the beginning of my upkeep, choose target opponent until end of turn. That player can't cast spells. You may look at the top card of their library at any time and play the top card of their library, and I can spend mana as though it was any color to cast those spells this way. Hello, um, my name is Michael Sinclair II, and I go by Michael Crits everywhere. Today I'm playing Cyrix, Carrier of the Flame. It is a 3 3 legendary creature Phoenix, uh, flying haste at the beginning of each end step. If a creature card left, my graveyard this turn. Target Phoenix you control deals damage equal to its power to any target, and whenever another Phoenix you control dies, you may cast this card from your graveyard. And I am Jesse Robkin. Uh, today I brought Bergy, God of Storytelling, which is a three mana, three, three God creature. Whenever I cast a spell, I add red mana, and until the end of turn, I don't lose that mana as steps and phases end. And then the most important line of text on this card is uh, creatures I control can boast twice during each of my turns rather than once. Uh, that's a lie. I'm not going to do that even once. Uh, and then on the other side, I have Horn of Carfell. Harnfell. Uh, it's a big old artifact that says discard a card, exile the top two cards of my library, and I might play those cards this turn. So yes, I have a non-creature commander as well. Now, can you cast that as the horn? I can, yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so. Are you going to? I'm not gonna tell you, that's my, that's all, you, she in wild. due you time, my friend. All right, well, there's a lot of there's a lot of red. All of us, uh, uh, except Skylar, have red because I have gone with, as my commanders, I've said I'm not a fan of the partner mechanic, and yet my commander wow. is wow. Helena wow. and Elena. Partners, they're wow. partners. They're two, a red and a green for a two, three human ranger. They've got first strike, they've got reach, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control Control, where X is Helena and Elena's power. That creature gains haste until end of turn. Kind of like a mini Xenagos. It's just kind of like, it's like they're, 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 fought, they're I know they're from Innistrad, but I think they worship Xenagos and they're just trying to emulate a lot of what, what Xenagos does, maybe. And these two maybe. are roommates, correct? Roommates. They are, they are, they're, they're friends. They're friends. They're roommates. They might be uh, confused with sisters sometimes. Yeah, yeah. They're but certainly nothing else. That, uh, that's definitely it. not partners. Not, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they, they very much wish yeah. that they had white in their color identity so that they could run secret rendezvous. Oh, that's so true. Wow, that's a nice little Easter egg. Yeah. $50 decks, and here are the decks. Now, normally, Card Kingdom lends uh, stacks, but since these were just $50 each, I just bought them on Card Kingdom. You can go to cardkingdom.com forward slash TCC to see not only my favorite products and accessories, but also cards, decks, and many other things Magic the Gathering related. We're not sleeving these. We don't need to sleeve $50 decks. Nope. Uh, there is blue black. And now I don't know this which of these, mine. that one's yours. Okay, and then Michael, that one's yours. Yes, it is. Like the Pro Tours of old. Like the Pro Tours of old. These need to be incredibly shuffled. Do I have to up. be perch sitting if we're gonna do it like the Pro Tours of old, like that one dude? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, what, perch sitting? Yeah, he like sat perched as he played Magic at a tournament. He was also a cheater. Oh. Oh. Well, please don't cheat. I will not cheat. Please don't, if you, Okay, here's the deal. If you're cheating at $50 casual <laughs> commander, then you got problems. I feel bad. I feel like the cheating is the least of the issues going on in your life and we should maybe go out and talk and you know, I'm here for you and I'm really sorry you feel the need to do that. I'm not going to cheat, you know. Yes. To really make it the pro tours of old, we need unsleeved uh, dual dual lands, just like OG duels, oh, yeah. completely unsleeved. This is maybe the first time I've ever shuffled an unsleeved commander deck. 
don't think I have either. I yeah. did it last week. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I don't Wait. like it better. He was, he was practicing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew this. I knew the reputation of this show. You just yeah. <laughs> just listen. Uh, this is called shuffle up and play. Just listen to that shuffle. Yeah, it's not called sleeve shuffle up and right. play. No, no, no. So we have this shuffle ASMR on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think so that does, nice actually, crisp. I think someone does that. That'd be great. You get for the content. views. Someone, yeah, I'm sure. Yes. Someone probably does everything. How? There are some uh, double-sided cards in my deck. I don't know. Is that a problem? Do you have I'm a problem fine. with that? Does I'm anybody perfectly have happy. A problem? You guys finding out when I'm we drawing could, my double face card. We I could, would never have a problem. Yeah, we could wow. proxy it, but it feels like a lot of work. I think it's nice to just see it coming. Yeah. Shall we roll to see who goes first? Do you all feel you're su sufficiently shuffled? I guess that's all the land was in it. So these came just from Card Kingdom. So all oh, the know. land was organized on the so bottom. I'm so you to might really wanna, give us a good shuffle. Yeah. Uh, I have been informed. I've been informed that pile shuffling is okay once. Oh. You're allowed to do one pile shuffle. That's a pretty controversial take. Yeah. Well, you're, you're our two resident pro I will do it every players once in at the while. table, right? So like that's allowed. You're at yeah. you're at an NRG series event. You're allowed one pile shuffle, right? For yeah. that? Yeah. I'll I don't think do I've it pile I, shuffled in like five years. I'll though. only do it if I get death checked and then it comes back sorted and then you wanna yeah. you know I not it, have it be sorted. I so. do it in between rounds. But Making I think it's more nervous. superstition Making, than anything you're all, else. You're all, you're all shuffling way more than me. I don't want to get screwed. I'm scared. Yeah. I like shuffling. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've gotten a riffle shuffle, so I'm taking yeah, full that's advantage true. Yeah. of it. You can go, you know, pop off. Well, it's shuffle up and play. Those are two equally important things. So I want it to spend is. just as much time shuffling as I spend <laughs> playing. <laughs> yeah, we got time for that. Um, Make sure there's enough footage. No, Shall yeah. we roll for high? Yes. That's a big Six. ask. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw Ooh, mine across six. the room. That, I always say that means it's going to be a good game when two die rolls are tied. Nine. Wow. Someone didn't want to stick with the trend. Meanwhile, I got all right. five. Michael, yeah. it's all you. Uh, uh, all uh, shall we resolve yeah. mulligans? Yes. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, I'm just waiting to see no lands or all palm, lands. Uh, oh, my gosh. I have a nice ratio of lands to spells. Hmm. Kind of. Kind of. I have an okay... Keeping. I'll keep this hand, oh, I guess. this is risky, but I get a draw, and I'm going to keep it, but I'm feeling a little nervous. You can mulligan I if you want. I don't it's mind. It's a free mulligan. It's the first, well, it's not the, the, you mind. The first mulligan's free. I should mulligan. I'm going to be mana screwed. I don't want to be mana screwed. Yeah, that would be a bummer. I don't want to be mana screwed. We actually do everything here to please Jesse, so yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to keep that it. That's okay contract. with you. Yes, that was quite a quite a extensive contract. Yeah, it was weird that, that no one else had a contract. Yeah, but I, I came no, I just said, hey, <laughs> y'all want to come over and play some commander, and you're like, well, let me. Yeah, call sure. My let, lawyer. Me, let me print out my contract real quick. Yeah, yeah. so keep it on hand. Your lawyer okay was very aggressive this? too. Um, hold on, I might have to reference. May the also contract. keep this. You're good. I'm not sure if you are. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you some time. Yeah. Michael, would you please cut me? <laughs> you are desperate. Yeah. It's come you to must be desperate to have come to me. And where did it leave you? Back to me. Wow, the, right. the, the three pile cut. I said I'm a demon. That, demons do do that. Uh, I can keep this. All right, so I shall play. You draw a card first. I shall draw a card. <laughs> See, that's why we have the professionals yeah. here. That's I'm why a I'm a professional oh, $50 commander player. That's why I'm a <laughs> semi-professional. I probably just want to start with this. Uh, it's come, it comes in tap. So Castle Embreath, it does things. Uh, when, it, uh, when this card enters, it enters the battlefield tapped unless I control a mountain. I control no such thing. It also has tap, add red, and also has one red, red tap. Creatures you control get plus one, plus zero at the end of turn. So this is going to come in tapped. I'm going to ship nice. it over to Jesse. Okay, I will draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna play a mountain. It's a basic land, and it's a mountain, yep, and nope. it taps for red mana. No, nope. yeah, yeah. I could bring out my full text lands. For I, would, I would have actually really helped. That would help me out a lot. Cinderglade. Uh, it would come into play untapped if I had more lands. I don't, so it comes into play tapped. Gives me red and green. Pass. And then we'll draw. Um, I will play a basic island and pass. All right. I Powerful will, first turns. Yes. I will untap and I will draw. I will tap Just this. I'll put in that ring. What? I will not explain the card because if you do not know that card, that, that I don't understand. You're watching Commander Content. Soul Ring is legal in Commander? Uh, yes. I think that's just cheating. Kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but the moxes are banned. Isn't yeah. a mox worse than a Soul Ring in Commander? Uh, yes, that is true. And then for my land, I'll play my Swamp and I'll, I'll tap that and tap my Soul Ring, which is like three mana, and I'll play the Salustus. Oh my 
god. Or Celestis, rather. Five um, mana on turn two? Uh, yeah. Uh, legendary artifact. It's neither uh, day or night. Oh, no. It becomes day as the Celestis enters the We have the to battlefield. keep track of day I'm so night sorry. Now. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, tap, add one color mana of any color. Uh, three, tap. If it's night, it becomes day. Otherwise, it becomes night. Activate only source yeah. day. Whenever day or night. Whenever day becomes night, day or night. Um, whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you gain one. You may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. What? Wait, what does it do? Lots. Yeah, one again. Lots. Okay, <laughs> so we, we're going to need a day night token. Yes. yes. It's the it's the kid cutty of cards. I, I mm, day and night. I, I don't know more. I got you. The, I don't know most it. of the pro you, you I don't follow the pro players. Everyone's always talking about yeah, pro yeah, players. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah kid cutty is a, yeah, he is a known magic pro. Is he SCG circuit or? Yeah, real hard grinder. Okay, so it's day now. It do and this is this relevant? Is this relevant to anyone but you? Uh, maybe it could be because like you're playing this in that set. They so don't. Which direction don't is the crescent moon? That's the real question. I'm gonna go this way. I have it on my. Oh wow! You really set me up. Yeah. This is not like the best that. crescent moon. It looks more like a banana, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> banana. You had a reference picture. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't reference. Drawing day and night on our infinite tokens. Not a sponsor of this channel. Just really cool, and we think they're awesome. This is a jalapeno pepper, is what it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> night, night times get night spicy. Is spicy. Uh, I'll leave this over here. Okay. Night times do get spicy. Thank you for right. the amazing drawing. Are I you will, quite I'll done? Pass it over to you. Yeah, I'll draw a card. I'll play a land. Oh no! I think it might be about to be night. Go. Goes tonight. So. It this goes gonna be, tonight. This if is going to be really played. fun. Yes. Why didn't you just draw it on both sides? You know they're double sided. What? Because then it'll erase. They're they double sided. Double -sided. You're might, right. You are right about that. It's scuffed, and then it won't. Unlike what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. I untap. Draw for turn. Are you held up on land or something? No, I played land. I know the feeling. All right. Forest. We know what a forest does. Two, for rampant growth. We are ramping out here. Search my library for a basic land card. Put that card into play tapped and then shuffle my library. Something I love to do. I'm gonna go get a mountain and then shuffle my library. And as I do, Skylar, I pass to you. I will draw a card. I will play a basic swamp and then I will tap two mana for Vantress Gargoyle. It is a 5-4 flyer, and it cannot attack unless defending player has seven or more cards in their graveyard. Vantress Gargoyle can't block unless I have four or more cards in hand, and I can tap it, and each player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. On your end step, I have an effect. Oh. I don't like you having a soul ring, and I'm going to abrade your soul ring. Yeah. Rude. Making an enemy go. Time. Are we still nighttime, right? I believe. I believe so. Okay. Yeah, I only cast one. I will draw. Well, I had things I was going to do. Mm. Was, what you know, happened? Things. Well, that's gonna come in tap. Yeah, I mean, I I, I think that was uh, that was a very wise choice there. Um, it's just you know. Thank you for the art again. Anytime. Uh, I'll just pass it over to you. All right, I'll draw a card. I'm gonna play a Montagna. And I'll cast my Bergy, God of Storytelling. And then I'll pass the turn. Commander coming into play. Commander time. That's what the format's all about. Ooh, look at me. I got a land. Well, you know what? One good commander deserves another. I'm going to tap four and bring in Helena and Elena, decidedly partners. Pass the turn. All right, I will draw, play Ice Tunnel, tapped. I will then play Rogue Class. What? Uh, whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, exile a top card of that player's library face down. I can look at it for as long as it remains exiled. Cannot attack, so I will pass. I will untap, and I will draw. Okay, 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 okay. So I will play this uh, right layer swamp. I will tap one, two, three, and four. And I'll play Chainer, Nightmare Adept. Ooh. Guard a card, you may cast a creature spell from your graveyard this turn. Activate only once each turn. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it if you didn't cast it from your hand, it gains haste until end of turn. I will probably say that is it, and I'll pass it over to you. Awesome. I'll untap and I'll draw a card. Uh, play a mountain. I'm gonna cast a swift foot boots, which will trigger Bergy. I will get a red mana. Is this resolve? And then I'm going to use that red mana to equip the Swift Boots to the Bergy. Oh, God. 
and I will pass the turn. All right, very nice. So Swift Foot Boots gives it... Hexproof and Haste. Hexproof and Haste. As fast as God in all the West. All right, cool. Untap, let's say green and another for an Incubation Druid. Incubation Druid is a zero two. I can tap to add one mana of any type that a land I control could produce. But if Incubation Druid has a plus one, plus one counter on it, add three mana of that type instead. It can adapt, but I don't think it will because as I move to combat, <gasps> oh at the beginning boy. of combat of my turn, I get to put X plus one, plus one counters on another creature I control equal to Helena and Elena's power, which is two. So my Incubation Druid is now partners with Helena and Elena. They're all friends. Oh, it's a polycule. It's, yeah, yeah. Polycule. That, very nice. We stand a good polycule. Uh, and and they, like you would imagine, they can do great things, uh, which is I can now tap the, I, I move out of combat, I'm not attacking. And in my second main phase, since it has haste, I'm gonna tap to add three mana I'm going to, of green, I'm going to bring in Kodoma of the West Tree. Oh boy. Kodoma is a 3-3 with reach, modified creatures I control of trample, and whenever a modified creature I control deals combat damage to a player, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle, but wait, there's more. There's more. I think it's about to be daytime. It's finna be day. Your chainer is what? It's a three, whoa. <laughs> you got, <laughs> Who's asking? Whoa, 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 whoa. It is a three-two. You got too many dip in your chip. Yeah, it's only a three-two. It's only a three-two. Yeah. Just, just leave, you know. Mm, I'll leave it be for now. He's, he's, oh, he's I just partnerless. was asking. He has no roommate, no no partner, just leave him alone. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I'll spend two for a Dusk Mantle Crawler. It's a zero three when it enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Creatures I control with plus one, plus one counters on them have trample. I'll well, put they have that... double trample now. Yeah, double trample. I'll put that on. If you put it on the Helena, then you can grow even bigger on your next combat. Oh, hey, oh thank you, Jesse. Just a thought. I wasn't, a, I wasn't going to do that, but Jesse helped me out. We're on the same side here. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay. I guess that's enough for my turn. I pass it. Fifty dollars, um, ladies and gentlemen. Oh boy! At your end step, I'm going to activate Vantress Gargoyle, and we each put the top card of our library into our graveyard. No right. Underworld Breach. That's not allowed. Oh, there that's just targeted against you. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I feel. I feel like we're at war now. <laughs> there go my Fintorn Elves. You took my Underworld Breach. You can tell this is a real Commander Legends uh, card because of the fact that it's not a foil, but it's mm. curled. Yes. Look at that. It's, it goes to day. It's now day, wow. and Chainer is no longer dancing in the dark. No longer dancing in the moonlight. That's it. Okay, I'll draw. Pretty sad about this one, not gonna lie. I'm kind of happy about that one. Not gonna yeah. Lie. I can't believe my Finhorn elves are curled. me. You're partners with him now. Like, what? yeah. Um, I'll play a Dusk Mantle House of Shadow. Uh, I can tap for a generic mana, or I can pay blue, black, and target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. If you have the <laughs> graveyard synergies because of other people, you can just do that to me, because we can help each other out since they're already, you know. Oh, that's, that's true outside assistance. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. What's up? <laughs> What's up? You don't want to be <laughs> pro Professor and Jesse partners here against a, them? I mean, you know? I'm happy for us to be on a team. I just don't want them to be on a team, if that yeah. makes sense. Well, wouldn't we be the better team, the stronger team? We would be team? the better team, yeah. All right. Um, I'll pass. I just turn. want everyone to get along. Thank it's night Commander. now. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, do be night. He's, he's going to dancing, dancing in the dark again. Wow. And tap and draw. Incredible. See, See this was not bad. Trigger man. switches or no? Oh, Mishra. Don't. Oh, uh, that's it a already happened. Uh, we is it a May ability? And what does it do? It's neither, uh, okay. Uh, whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you gain one life. You may draw a card if you do discard a card. Gain a life. So I guess I do just gain life, but I don't get the draw from the one you time. Missed the yeah. I missed it. Yeah. yeah. So you gain, you gain a life. Yeah. Do I gain both of them or just yeah, the you one? Yeah, okay. I, so I, I think you can have both of them because it's not a May ability, so. But then. Yeah, and so, it's June, so. Yeah. I would May draw abilities this card. aren't happening here. <laughs> And if, uh, so I could draw another, I should be drawing, <laughs> draw a card and then I'll discard a card if I want to see if I want to keep this one or not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to discard that card and then just draw for turn. Okay. You know, I should probably just cast my commander. It has flying and haste and it's, uh, Cyrix Care of Flame, which is my commander. Um, I probably will hit Brian if you don't have any reach over there because you're- I do have reach. You do, which My card? Kadama of the West Tree has reach. My Helena and Elena partners with reach That's have a problem. Reach. 
All right, well, uh, because, uh, you know. Uh, why would you be coming at me at all? Mm -hmm. mm, disturbing. You do have a lot going on over there. But because I feel like same team. me and Skylar are gang gang right now, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna come over to you, Jesse. Oh, wow. Uh, you know what? I can't do anything about that. So I'm just gonna take three and I'm gonna like it. Yep. Uh, okay, I think uh, that is going to be my turn. I'm going to pass it over to I'm gonna you. do something on your end step. I'm going to cast Thrill of Possibility, discarding Galvanic Relay uh, to draw two cards, but first I'll make a red mana. And then I draw my two cards. One, two. And then I will not use that red mana, and I'll draw a card. Myriad Landscape. Uh, I'm going to cast a Storm Kill an Artist. Okay. Um, whenever, whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, I create a treasure token. It also gets plus one, plus zero for each artifact I control, um, which is currently one. So it's a 3-2 right now. It makes a red mana. Use that red mana to move this with foot boots over to the storm kill artist. Mm. For no reason. Pass the turn. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. Okay, we're going to play Lana War Reborn, but it enters the battlefield tapped, unfortunately. It comes into play with a plus one, plus one counter on it, and whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my control, I can move that plus one, plus one counter from Lana War to the creature. How very lovely. I'm going to tap my Incubation Druid for three mana. I'm going to say red, and with that three, I'm going to add a fourth, a fifth, what, and a sixth. Oh my gosh. For Atali, Primal Storm. Okay. Oh, trigger! Atali, whenever it attacks, I exile the top card of each player's library, and then I may cast any number of spells from among those cards without paying their mana cost. The counter from Lana War Reborn goes on to Atali, making it a 7 7. Move to combat. Helena and Elena add three plus one plus one counters to Atali, bringing it up to a 10, 10. It gains haste. I'm gonna move to declare attackers. I'm gonna attack Michael with Atali the Primal Storm, but before blockers are uh, declared, I do have things I want to do. But first, are there any responses to me attacking Michael? So I've got a trigger on Atali. Skylar, blue, blue black mage. Uh, we're not playing control here. Okay. Trigger on Atali. Yep, sure. So it's whenever it attacks? Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. What's the top card of each of your libraries? You gotta I'm crash casting that. Through. That's gonna be good. I'm not casting that. I'm casting yeah, that. Trample. Cool. Is this exile or in the graveyard? Uh, when you cast it, I think it goes to the graveyard. But if it doesn't get cast, it stays exiled. I think it stays on the, yeah, it's exiled. So I'm gonna cast that and cast that. All right, so you draw a card and get trample. So crash through, creatures I control gain trample. And I draw a card, and a Nurox Stealth Suit. Equipped creature can't be the target of spells or abilities. I can spend double blue, darn, I don't have double blue, to attach Nurox Stealth Suit to target creature I control, or one to equip it. Oh, I see, that's handy. And then that cool. will go to my graveyard. And then it Primal Storm's coming again. at you. For... It doesn't fly, though. Seven. You can. It doesn't fly. For seven, okay. It does have trample. No, what do you mean seven? Tramp. Ten. That's why I thought it was ten. Ten, ten. Was, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 30, uh, I go down to 32. I don't count. For a second. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't count. 42 to 32 is where cool. I go. Second main phase, okay. I'm going to spend one oh to equip the stealth suit to. There's a lot of stuff happening you over really, there. You really wanted to help help him out, right? Yeah, we're on a team. I'm attaching that to Atali so that it can't be the target of spells or abilities. Also known as Shroud. Pass the turn. Everyone mills one. Okay. You mill a runaway oh, steam it's I'm pretty sure it's daytime with all that cast. Uh, this is still at the end of turn. Yeah. Um, I'm going to siphon insight. Um, I'll target you. And I look at the top two cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down, and put the other one on the bottom of that library. I may look at and play the exile card for as long as it remains exiled, and I may spend mana or those any color to cast. It has flashback for one blue black. Do you reveal those cards or they're just for you to see? Uh, they're just for me to oh. see because it's exiled face they're down. They're secret cards. Secret it's cards. It's a secret card. The best kind of card. I feel like I know what cards they are though. I'm not gonna tell you guys though. Well, I thought we were partners. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, when it comes up, I'll tell you. Oh, okay. After well, but then I already it. know. Yeah. <laughs> then I already know. My turn. Mm -hmm. Now it's daytime. Trigger. Trigger ends the Celestis uh, whenever day or 
bear night, night or day. Uh, gain one, so I'll gain one to 33 after taking all that damn. But I will draw a card and I will discard a Skyfire Phoenix. I'll draw. Um, I'll play a basic swamp. Scurry. I will cast Evil Twin. I'm gonna have Evil Twin enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it gains blue-black tap for destroyer target creature with the same name as this creature. I will have it enter as a copy of Helena and Elena. Okay. Nice. At combat, it triggers. Mm-hmm. I will target my uh, my creature. It's now a seven six because I can count. I still don't think I can attack anyone, so I'll pass turn. Oh. I'm getting close. What is it? Seven seven. Untap yeah. and draw. You'll get real close. Don't worry. So threatening. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna play that mountain, which I'll immediately use. Actually, not yet. I'm gonna play that mountain. I will attack. We're homies. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, that's fine. Coming at you for another three. I don't take offense, but I'd never forget. And then, in my second main phase, I will play Blasphemous Act. Ooh. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's pretty good. So it does 13 damage to every creature? 13 dam, uh, it does uh, 13 dam to each creature, which... Hmm. But my see. creatures! Mine has three toughness, which I think is a little less than 13, mm. so I will let my creatures die. Oh, even my 10-10. All right, and Helena and Elena return to the command zone. I'll tap five and play Magma Phoenix, okay. which is a 3-3 uh, three, three Phoenix flying. When Magma Phoenix is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, it deals three damage to each creature and each player. Three red red, return Magma Phoenix from your graveyard to your hand. That's what it do. Amazing. That is... You have a lot of Phoenixes in that deck. What? Or is it Phoenai? Phoenix is this is? It's a great question. You, you tell me. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Phoenix, though. It's just Phoenix. Just Phoenix. Just Phoenix. Yeah, probably. Phoenix. Phoenix is. I, I think it's just Phoenix is, yeah. All right. I will draw a magic card. I think I'm just going to recast my commander. Your turn. That's what I think I'm going to do. <laughs> I liked my commander. Nice, nice little rebuild phase. Let's go ahead and play a forest. We're going to go ahead and do a green, a red, and then commander tax of two to bring in. Helena and Elena again, and then, oh my goodness, I guess I will just play a Tranquil Thicket tapped. Pass the turn. I will draw a card. I'll play Basic Island, and I will get in on the commander action. Ooh. Xanathar Guild Kingpin. Nice. At the beginning of my upkeep, I choose target opponent until end of turn. That player can't cast spells. I can look at the top card of their library and play the top card of their library and spend mana though any color to cast these spells. I don't like it, that card. What's its power and toughness? It's a five six. A five six? That's so. That many. doesn't matter. I just want to play your deck. Yeah, does it need a power and toughness in addition all to I all? Wanna, well, it does for my I red deck. Yeah. Yeah. Your toughness deck. certainly. <laughs> uh, I'll pass turn. Sweet. Um, I'm going to untap everything and draw. Uh, I will, will attack Brian for no specific reason. Yeah, but I mean, like, now that all my creatures are gone. Uh huh. All right. Mm -hmm. How much do you got? What, what is it? It's a three three damage. Flying. Well, what's its tough now? I got oh, a creature with reach. Oh, wait, no, you have reach. a creature with reach. It's a, but it's a two three, right? It's a two three. I might have zero cost spells in hand. You nah, don't know that. No, nah, you, you come in at you okay. three. Mm -hmm. I, I, I let it. I shall let it pass. Wow. So magnanimous yeah. of you. I, I know, I know. I will let the majestic firebird in the sky fly into my face. Wow. I will tap six mana, uh, including to include my Silustus, uh, and I'll play Warm Storm Surge Enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. That is a nasty card. You know, uh, sometimes I like I like nasty stuff, so yeah. that's, I'm gonna do some nasty stuff. Yeah. Uh, I pass it over to Jesse. Okie dokie, I will draw a card. I'm gonna tap five mana. I'm gonna cast Commune with Lava. Oh. Uh, so Bergy's gonna trigger, I get a red mana, and then this says, uh, exile the top X cards of your library, in this case X is three. Until the end of my next turn, I may play those cards. Exile the top three. Mountain, Chromatic Star, Chaos Warp. Ooh. Ooh. Warp. I'm gonna crazy. play this mountain. Uh, this goes to my graveyard. I'm going to cast the Chromatic Star using the red mana floating from, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make myself a little red mana token, just so I can keep track of what I have. Um, Good thing you put the R on there. 
Yeah, that's that way people know white. it's red. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna use that red mana to cast this. It's gonna come right back thanks to Bergy. Chromatic Star is, uh, this is still an exile. Um, Chromatic Star is a one mana artifact. Uh, for one, I can tap it and sacrifice it to add one mana of any color. So I have the red. I may want a different color, although probably not. Uh, and then when it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. And then I will s use this red mana to sack the Chromatic Star, draw a card, which uh, will generate another red mana. Uh, draw that card. Um, and then I will use that red mana to equip the Swift Foot Boots back to Bergy, and I will pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What don't I like? What don't I like? I don't, you gonna, are you gonna target me with, with Xanathar? Uh, well, now I'm absolutely not. So, okay. You're not. You're saying you're not. Yeah, I'm not. All right. We, it's chill. Then I shall, I shall let it. We're on the same team, so you probably don't want to do anything. Why is everyone on teams with Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I don't like is that war strong chill. surge. Hey, you know, you know, oh. See, I think I think your memory is like, you, you don't have the, the memory I that you remember. had is, no. If, if it was a problem in block, no. if it was, <laughs> If it was a problem... That's Commander, what are you talking about? <laughs> if it was a problem in Block Constructed 10 years ago, then surely, now. surely you it is a problem now. I've watched plenty of your stuff. You say the power creep is real. This is like an old car. It's, it's not It's not. That's a really no good more. point. Beast within. <laughs> yeah. Destroy target permanent. You get a 3-3 green beast creature token. It's really yeah, just that's doing really you a favor. Yeah. 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 I'm giving you some creatures. You're a creature light. Hey, hey no, don't touch my red token. <laughs> Yo, everyone's hostile towards Did me. Did you even let me on? draw fire? Oh yeah, please draw I'm doing, fire. I'm doing honest. Yeah. Well, no, right. my, oh yeah, Michael. I'm sorry, Michael, important. you can't have the marker. <laughs> I can't have for anything at this table. I'm never coming because back. Because Skylar's oh, drawing fire. It's a fire. There. That's definitely, yeah, it looks like a fire and not like a claw or something. Well, let, let the man draw a beast token. Uh, yeah, y'all taking everything away from me, at least, you know. I mean, Is that your beastie boy? Yep. Beastie. Yeah. See, people think I don't know references to music, but I know the Beastie Boy. I don't know what their music sounds like, but I know of them. I've heard them referenced. I wouldn't know a Beastie Boy song. But spend one to equip, equip the stealth suit to Helena and Elena. I guess they both squeeze into it. They're wow. partners. They're Pass partners. the turn. They Some make it work. All right, it is the beginning of my upkeep, and I choose target opponent that is not Brian, so. I'm going to choose Is that what you. it says on the card? Yeah, yeah, it says right there. Brian. Okay, yeah. so what, what do you get to do? Uh, you can't cast spells this turn. I, would, I, see, your, I see your red mana. Um, and I can look at the top card of your library at any time, and I can uh, cast it. This is the top card of my library. Before I go any further. Is it a good one? <laughs> You're about to find out. I want to play this mountain. Wow. I would like to look at the next card. Oh. Oh, this was, I previewed this card. I'm going to play it. Oh. I previewed this card. That's cool. Wow, well, brag. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only thing I've done with my life. Just previewed that one card. Yeah. So this is Efrit Flame Painter. A one forward double strike whenever if Efrit? Efrit? Efrit. 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 Efrit yeah. Flame Painter deals combat damage to a player. You may cast target instant or sorcery spell from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that spell would be put into the graveyard, exile it instead. That sounds like. Uh, that sounds really good. I wish Can that I was in my deck. <laughs> oh, yes. oh my yeah. god! That card's <laughs> I can powerful. Keep going. Oh, man. How is that card like? Okay, uh, you can have that. I'm oh, thank looking. you so much. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Oh wait, this is a combo though. Hold on, this is cool. I like cool. I don't like that. Um, I will painful memories target Jesse. I will look at your hand and put one of the cards uh, on top of your library. Ooh, that is a good combo, yeah. Why would you do that to me? Well, you're out of mana, though. No, there's one more. Could reveal it, too. You know, uh, <laughs> just be rude. Partner or bestie, you're doing some real cool things, I approve. It seems like everyone's on, on a team now except for me. No, no, saying. we're still on a team. Wait, 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 we not on a team? We're on a team. I, I was don't know, just... it, seemed, it was made very clear to me last year. Jesse, when I, I said I was inevitably <laughs> going to betray you, I was just joking. Oh, okay, I, I do appreciate a good joke. So yeah. I, Unfortunately, I am like super out of mana, so uh, here, that can go on top of your library. I am just gonna pass turn this. I'll untap and draw. I'm smart. I have some things. All right, um, I think I really want to swing this out. So yeah, I still will swing this over at Brian now. Maybe I should Ooh. give, no, I'll swing it at Jesse, because uh, I can't look. Yeah, because, yeah. Sure. Sure no one cares about me, that's fine. 
That's not true. Nobody um, care me. I, I care about our alliance. No, I, I care about you a lot. I got to play a card. Mm -hmm. It was fun. We all had fun. I'm like a farm for you <laughs> to cast my stuff. I cultivate this beautiful deck, and then you want to cast it. OK, so I'm going to play Midnight Reaper. I think that's what I should play. So Midnight Reaper is a 3-2 creature zombie knight. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, this card deals one damage to you, and you draw a card. Cool. So that is what that does. That uh, will probably honestly be my turn. I shall untap, and I wonder what this card will be. <gasps> I remember that one. Uh, I will play a land. I will tap one, two, and cast Young Pyromancer. Yeah, easy. Whenever I, it's a two mana, two one human shaman. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a one one ele a red elemental creature token onto the battlefield. This will make a red mana. Boom. Wow. Um, and nice then art. I, thank you. I, uh, I commissioned it uh, <laughs> from across the table. And then I will use that red mana and these two to cast Chaos Warp. And I'm gonna target that Efreet Flame Painter. Uh, so C Chaos Warp says, the owner of target permanent, that's me, shuffles it into his or her library and then reveals the top card of my library. If it's a permanent card, he or she puts it onto the battlefield. So so you get the extra I get card. The, yeah, so I wow. Chaos Warp my Kinda own sick. card. See, we're working together. Mm-hmm, yeah. Stealing will get you nowhere. Uh, young Pyromancer will trigger and I'll make a token. Uh, can I commission another yes. artwork from you? Thank uh, you so much. What would you like? Uh, just a guy, just a dude. Oh, just a dude? A flamey dude. Give him like fire hair, like he's the human torch or something. He's in a cloth. Oh, that's really good. Again. And go. then let's Perfect. find out what the top card is. Yes. Sorry, uh, it's, not a, it's not a permanent. So mm -hmm. it's uh, two mana sorcery, buy back two creatures I control, get one. Plus one plus zero until end of turn when I cast the spell. It has Storm as well, which says when I cast the spell, copy it for each spell I've cast before this turn. And if I pay that extra two, it would go back into my hand. I'll pass the turn. All right, untap, draw. I'm gonna spend four for a Forgotten Ancient. Zero three, elemental, whenever a player casts a spell, you may put a plus one plus one counter on Forgotten Agent. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may remove any number of plus one plus one counters from Forgotten Agent onto other creatures. Very cool. I forgot about that card. Yeah, that's that's very neat. To move to combat, Helena and Elena are going to put two counters on Forgotten Agent Ancient. It also gains haste. You've got that 3-3 beast. You've got Xanathar. I don't need to attack anyone. I'm just going to pass the turn. Right on. All right, my upkeep. So that was kind of like a last turn deal, right? Like Do your worst. All right, I'm going to target. Good call. You. I like green cards. OK. Do you um, like that will, green card? I will draw for turn. Um, I will play a mountain. Oh. Thanks so you like green deja cards. Vu. <laughs> Love it. Taking my lands. Well, that's why I wanted to target you last turn, but ooh, I like this card. Oh no. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Beast Whisperer. It is a two-three. Whenever I cast a creature spell, I draw a card. So let me see the top card again. Oh, <laughs> be a creature. <laughs> now you I know how I felt. Yeah. But one turn oh. cycle ago. My cards, Jesse. My cards, all gone. You can. That one's for you. You didn't okay. want the Beast Whisperer anyway, right? I did want the Beast Whisperer. Oh, I wanted it a lot. Now it's. Yeah, I like. I like Skylar having it. Yeah. Can't trust a demure player. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'm, I'm I don't Rakdos. know what to do with this information. I, you know, can't, you yeah. can't trust a Rakdos player. Would you rather be partying with Gruul? Nope. I guess yeah. you can't really trust on, any of right. these things. I'm I guess just don't trust a magic player. Level up rogue class, so my creatures have menace now. Yeah, I'll pass turn. All right, I will untippity tap Hula. and draw for a turn. Okay, okay, okay. This is such, this, this is a weird game, but I'm gonna tap these two and that and that. I'm gonna mutate with this card, which is the Everquill Phoenix, flying. Whenever this creature mutates, create a red artifact token named Feather with one sacrifice feather return target Phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. I'll explain mutate then. <laughs> it's probably easier to do that. If you cast a spell for its mutate cost, put it over a uh, target non-human creature you own. They mutate uh, in, into the creature creature on top plus all the abilities under it. Can you dumb it down a little bit for me? Yeah, I get to either like... <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know what mutate does. <laughs> I didn't know if you meant for the cameras. No, no, uh, I, know. I meant for me, just for me. So I, I think putting this on top is probably Unfortunately, better. Unfortunately, this is as dumb as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt when mutate was in standard. Yeah. Yeah, I can still attack with this now. For sure. Um, so I'm going to probably attack this and this. I'm 
Yeah, I'm just gonna keep attacking things. I've got untapped mana. You don't know what I can do with these That's cards. That's exactly, yeah. Uh, four over to your direction and three over to Jesse's direction. Huh. Four. I'll take three damage. Oh, I take four. I go to 33. One, two, three. I go to 28. Oh, uh, trigger when you play that spell though. Trigger. I missed I missed the one with Skylar and I could have gone back, but you played you played a spell. My Forgotten Ancient triggered. Oh. Okay. I just want to be clear on that. My Forgotten Agent triggered when you played that spell. Okay. That was soon enough for the May. I was respectful, yeah. and I realized I missed the trigger there, and I let it let it go, but that, that's close enough to remember my trigger. All for right. sure. We'll pay two and play Swift Foot Boots with the fur. Um, I can't explain it again, but also Jesse has... Ta-da! We know what it does. All right, cool. I believe that is my turn. Okay, I, I will untap. I will draw a magical card. What card did I draw? No one knows. I feel like I'm emotionally prepared for what I'm about to do. <laughs> oh boy. That cannot be good. Yeah. I cast Past in Flames. That gives me two triggers. Uh, so I get my red mana. You may have seen it before. Uh, pass, uh, these triggers first, and then I'll say what Past in Flames does. I'm going to get another elemental token, and then downvote. Past in Flames enters the stack. Uh, it's a four mana sorcery. Each instant and sorcery card in my graveyard gains flashback until end oh, of turn. Oh. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. This can't be good. It itself has flashback. Are you about to storm off with a $50 commander deck? Uh, probably not. First things first, I'm going to use this red mana to cast Crash Through. Trigger. I, I got a yeah, trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a, I you get can a have thing. both triggers. That's fine. There's two triggers? Well, yeah. So you got a trigger for the past yeah. and flames from this. Right. Uh, so cast this. The red mana is going to replace itself. I'm going to get another elemental token and then crash through creatures I control, gain trample until end of turn. Draw a card. Should I just make a storm? Yeah. You know, count, count up all the spells that get cast so I can add them to my yes. forgotten Oh yeah, you might want to make a storm thing. This, this is storm count two. I will use this red mana and this. Okay, so this is in my graveyard. This is exiled now. Um, this is in my graveyard. What, what's your storm count at? Two at the moment. Um, Put the XL there for now. And then uh, I will cast Thrill of Possibility. Uh, as an initial cost, I have to discard a card. I'll discard this Magmatic Sinkhole, which will give me another red mana, which will give me uh, another token. Um, and then this will happen. You've seen it before, but I'm, I discarded a card. I'm going to draw two cards. One, two. I believe I've... I don't think I've played a land yet this turn. Is that right? Pretty sure I haven't, because this is the first land I just drew. So play a land. Oh, this is exiled. Uh, and then <laughs> I will. Uh, but can you win? Uh, well, I'm not. Maybe not this turn. Yes. Oh, that's okay though. I had one trigger from that. Yes. All this mana to cast. Uh, empty the Warrens, which will get more triggers. So uh, this brings the storm count to four. I get another red mana, uh, and then I get another one of these. Oh my god. And then I get. Uh, empty the Warrens. As a four mana sorcery, create two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens. It has Storm, so it copies itself for each uh, previous cast. So I cast one, sorry, one, two, three. This is the fourth, so it, I get eight 1-1 one, one tokens. And that's another spell. And that's another spell. Well, wait, but is it eight spells? Do I don't we'll... believe so, because I don't cast the copies. It just copies I it. see. Okay, so I just get one count. Yes. That, so that would have been really cool. That would have been very cool. Uh, and so I'll make my goblins, uh, and then that'll be the end of my turn. So, oh, yeah, all right. Just, just that wasn't scary at all. No, no, no. Other I just have a bunch of tokens. goblins, you know? Right. You have 50 uh, tokens. Untap. Yep. Upkeep. During my upkeep, I may take any number of Holy plus one cow. plus one counters from front Ancient. Now notice it doesn't target. It oh, just says really important. on two other creatures. So even though my Helena and Lena has, uh, can't be the target of spells or abilities, there is no targeting going on here. Okay. So I'm going to take all seven of these counters. They hit the gem. And put it on Helena and Elena. Draw. This may, this is a bit of a splinter twin situation we got going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Why would you do that? That's lovely, lovely, lovely. But I, I don't want to do that just yet. Let's go ahead and do double green and one, two, three, four. And we're going to cast Rishkar's Expertise. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. You may cast a spell with mana value five or less what? from your hand without paying its <laughs> what mana. What the hell is that card? Cost. Seven, oh eight, nine. God. I draw nine cards. One, this cannot two, be good for three, us. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I get to put one of these. Oh my God, look at all these. <gasps> 
Mm. I wonder why I was so aggressive towards Brian earlier. Yes. Oh my God, this is so cool. I was just making gobos. <laughs> gobo, gobo, gobo. Uh, so I'm gonna put a Quartzwood Crasher into play. This is a 6-6 six, six Trample. Whenever one or more creatures you control with Trample deal combat damage to a player, create an XX Green Dinosaur Beast Creature token with Trample, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. Uh, that goes into play. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And I'll play a forest. Let's go ahead and move to combat. As I move to combat, I get to put seven, eight, nine counters on a creature. I would love to put it on the Quartzwood Crasher, though the combo oh, you also that, get that two has. From that, right? I oh, two. I cast a spell. I cast two spells, so I cast one spell. One from the Rishkar as Right, well. right. It's close enough that, that that ability works. I'm gonna put the nine on my Quartzwood Crasher, though, for now. So now it's a 15-15 trample. You're gonna, uh, you're gonna, um, um, uh, orb, uh, uh, Xanathar? Uh, Xanathar me? I, I will not. Uh. For how many turns will you not? Wow, one for each power. Chill. <laughs> Chill. No, I, for at least next turn, I need to target Michael. So sure. I, like, am I having the most fun? How about, how about, how about two turns, no two. Xanathar? That's and two. That's that's two turns that I can't but, be attacked. But I'm only not attack. no, one turn not attack. Wow. All right, one for a one for one you for now. All right. I'm attack. Uh, I feel like everyone's ganging up on Michael though. Oh, so I'm gonna attack, I'm gonna attack Skylar. Uh, <laughs> she's, she's a threat. I'm at 28 right now, so I have 28. No, out. Skylar, I'm attacking you. 15, 15 trample. Okay. Well, it's redistribution of attacks. What does it do when it hits me? Comrade. Uh, it's gonna create a token for me that's an XX dinosaur equal to the amount of damage you took. Yeah, well, I'm not blocking. Okay. So. so you take 15. I get a 15 15 dinosaur token. May I have the dry erase marker? I'm commissioning no one because no one asked me to commission. Well, I'm going to draw a dinosaur. Yeah. I can't do a self portrait, though, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I just drew on my, my, my leather play mats. Oh, no. Luckily, it's dry erase. It's leather, it's got, it's got love in it. So I got my 15-15 dinosaur, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn. Oh, I had to, did I have to discard though? Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. You only do nine cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have cards. To, I, have, I have to discard three cards here. So I'll discard a forest, a mountain, and a goblin anarchomancer. Okay. See, well, I got attacked, so I think I just have to target you now. Oh, is, but then then maybe I'm gonna wanna attack you again. I, I just felt bad about ganging up on Michael, and I felt like we gotta get everybody's life totals down. But... I'm, at, I'm at 25, I'll survive. Oh. I'll target sure. you. Okay. Look at... There you go. Mm, neat, okay. Um, I draw for turn. I will cast a Gruel Signet, taps for Gruel Colors if I pay one. Um, I will play Land for turn, this Moss Fire Valley. Uh, same thing as this. That card is good. <laughs> That's, that's, that's for you. Me. That's for you. Goody. Just for I got it just for you. Yeah, they've only cast what three cards. Three oh, extra you, you cast you cast a gruel signet. I get a um, uh, counter on forgotten engine. Okay. You got it. I will cast wow. fact or fiction. Mm. Uh, reveal the top five cards of my library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Yeah, you. And Trigger. I put one of those piles in my hand, the other in the graveyard. I get a counter on forgotten ancient. Five. We got oh my god mnemonic yikes mnemonic betrayal misfault bridge vanishment hinder and tribute mage how much cards do you have in hand Girl. um i have four cards in hand kind of just want to do this all to you <laughs> <laughs> wait can you do that yeah. is yeah you can you, get, five you can make a five and zero wow. pile i think they're a big threat we need to take I, them out fast i think i agree thank yeah. you for uh leaving my stuff alone on yeah i have a new really thin partners yeah 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 total partners Halana, Elena, and last. Jesse, and Prof partners. Yes. I don't think there's any way that I can't give you this. Like, I think I have to give you everything, because if I don't, they're still going to beat me up, and I need a friend. So... I simply abraded your soul ring that you had on. <laughs> that was mean. That that pretty but much. I think it was. I think it was nice to the the rest of it. The rest of us here at the table. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have these two cards and these three cards. Sweet. I will put these three into my hand. Which pile do you think was the fact, and which one do you think was the fiction? These two are a threat. Fact. Yes. Mm. 
That's I don't know fact. about that. We're a threat. Fiction. Fiction, right. <laughs> That's no chill. Look, what do I got? I got a couple 15 15s. I'm both facts right a now. A couple 15 15s, and suddenly I'm a threat. Just 50, for now, right? Just only yeah. 50. Yeah, okay. This is not Horrible. even against you. This is just so that maybe. You, so I don't die. Yeah, maybe they get the tools to handle what's going on over here. Yeah, I guess I pass turn because everyone has just a ton of creatures. I'm gonna untap. Yeah, but mine are just gobos, so. Oh, of course. <laughs> Draw. All right, I'm gonna send this over to you, Prof. I've got a thing oh, with reach. I, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. You want it to go because then it's gonna deal three damage, isn't it? What's it do in the graveyard? Oh, you should not, you should not block. It only does three damage. That would be my, that would be my preference, personally, as damage. your friend. Um, would be for you to not have him deal three damage to each creature. Oh, to each creature? Yeah, right, isn't that what this? Yeah, it's, uh, it yeah. says uh, deals three damage to each creature and each player. That's mm -hmm. it. And each player. I'll take the three damage, going to 30. Wow. Noble cause. Yes, I would hate. Thank you, partner. I would hate for everybody's creature to take three damage. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. You know, uh, I just the do. The boots make mana? No, sorry, they do not. The good call. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven mana. Um, I will probably just play this just for creatures on board, um, and I'm gonna play the Send Streak Phoenix. Uh, it's a 4-2 flyer, um, Phoenix flying. It's neither day or night, it becomes day as sun this card enters the battlefield. Whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you may pay one in a red if you do return this card from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So cool. that's what it do. Uh, the Probably the most important thing to probably put Hexproof on is maybe this. Moment. Yep, and then I believe that is my turn, and I pass it over to you. Untap. I'll draw a card. Oops. Play a land. I will cast Haze of Rage. Trigger, trigger, with buyback. Creatures I control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Uh, trigger, I get a counter. You do get a counter. I get a, a storm count. I get a red mana. Um, I get... <laughs> I get, we'll call these the, the summoning sick elementals. Can I see the? You may. Mental, uh, one, one, dude on fire. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Abstract. Yes. Nice. I'm an artist. Uh, put one there. So all my creatures get plus one plus zero until the end of turn. Uh, it has buyback and storm. So right now the storm counts one, it only happens once. It goes back to my hand if this resolves. Okay. Um, I will use three and uh, this red to cast it again. Storm counts two. Uh, so all these cre creatures are getting uh, this time plus two plus zero. And I make another elemental, I make another red. I swear to God, if you win, I'm gonna be so frustrated. I don't so think I will. Okay. But I might be able to kill you. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. Uh, and then, oh, uh, I finally had a thing. Uh, red, red to uh, grape shot three times. So three. Uh, actually, yeah, no, there's no way I'm killing any of your stuff. Two. I'm at thirty. Yeah. yeah, I'll hit you for three. You're gonna hit me for. Three. I get another red. I get another token here. I go down to twenty-seven. I'll pop off Storm Queen. And I have two red, yeah. right? Because I, yeah, or no, I, I used one red here, one red there, and then it comes back. And then I'm gonna cast this one last time uh, to deal, to give my creatures plus four plus zero. I'm not buying it back this time, so it will go to my graveyard. I'm gonna make another token here, um, and then all my creatures uh, go up to uh, get plus seven plus zero. You cast Grape Shot and the buyback spell, so I get two counters. Yeah, you should have had four counters from this one here. Oh, I only added one so far, so I okay. should go up to six. There you go. Seven, eight. So all my creatures, so these are each eight ones. You have how many blockers? I have. <laughs> Love that question. <laughs> one, yeah. two, three. I have three blockers. You have they're one, quite, two, they're, three. They're quite big. You have one, two. So that's three, six, seven, eight. And I have eight here. These are all eight ones. And what is everyone's life total? It's just a curious, just curious. 27 and pa partner, my life total's at 27. I can't quite partner. hear that last part you said. Uh, <laughs> you were talking about might over there at some point. It maybe drowned out the rest of what you were saying. You're at 25. Can anyone, oh my God, I. Okay, um, I will, I will send, yeah, seven gobs at you. And they're what? Uh, they're each eight ones. Okay. 
And then one ate one goblin at you. So wait, so five, sorry, these six at you. I don't want to attack you. We're, I, we, what the <laughs> hell? What the hell? Uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, it was a pleasure doing business with you all game. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 move uh, to blocks. <laughs> all right, so you have seven. I have seven eight ones moving at you right now. Eight ones? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're killing me. If you don't have anything else going on. You're killing me. Can anyone save me? <laughs> you had a lot of might. I can't help. I can't. So I was Are you going to kill win. any of my stuff? Yeah, I killed three of my, my, my How the mighty I have fallen. You, so uh, you're taking, I currently there's six, six eight ones coming at you. <laughs> Why can't I win? Thanks for inviting me out. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Three times eight is 24. Yeah, I'll, I'll block two of them and uh, exile one of them. I'll go to one. Okay, so uh, exile one. Do you want to kill an elemental or a goblin? A goblin. You were way too proud of them. I was really proud of them. <laughs> wow, I like that. Uh, and then, I kill sorry, so two all of these, them because I'm blocking them. Yeah, you kill one, two, uh, oh, three. Oh, sure, So yeah, again. so I'm down to okay. two of them. You take... Here. Wait, right? I take 24. I attacked you for... I attacked you with six. You blocked two of them. I'm taking three of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so then three survive. I go to one. Okay. This is yours. And what is, what happens to this uh, since that, we died? I oh, think I, it. I think it, it ex, does it exile. I believe it's exile, but I'm sure a judge in the chat will yell at me for saying that. I'm sure a non-judge in the chat will yell at you incorrectly. For what about this. the cards that I took? From Those that disappear. Those disappear forever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, including him. the yeah, one of the mountains is mine. <laughs> Skylar just holds it up and rips it. <laughs> and gone forever. No one can play it again. <laughs> that would have been so funny if you just went because it's just a girl who just went. <laughs> oh man, and that's that's all I got. So. Oh, is that all you that's got? That's it. That's shit. Is that all? <laughs> we were partners. You don't have to put away all those tokens. You're right. Yeah, these will stay over here. Yeah. Oh man, I was gonna betray you. Fifty dollars is enough to make. Uh, Fifteen eight ones. Okay, yeah. here's a big old one. One. You're at one. one. You're at one. one life. Yeah. Wow. I took twenty four. I'm at one. Right, I, I will draw. Yes. That was not what I needed. That's very unfortunate. You can do this, Skylar. You're at one. You're gonna win. All right. Yeah. I will cast Monomic Betrayal. I exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards, and I may cast those cards this turn. Spend mana as though it was mana of any color. At the beginning of the next end step, if any of those cards remain exiled, uh, return them to their owner's graveyard. And I exile this. This is a big trust moment here. Mm -hmm. These I are all to... my graveyards. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if wow. I, if, I, if I don't change Storm the zone count on one. this right now, or can I still change the zone on this? Oh yeah, they can I don't definitely think ca they can, can cast it. Yeah, I don't think. No, when it exiles, you can change the zone. Yeah, but it's yeah. not. He chose for it to go to the graveyard. But I'm saying, if, when it gets when it changes it zones from zone. graveyard oh, yes. to exile, so you can choose. So you have, have to, to do this now. Zone. Unfortunately, so it's yes. there. Oh god, gotcha. that's a safe choice. Or else it just like be permanent exiled. Or you can cast it. Or yeah. Oh, but nice. it wouldn't be permanent exile because they come back yeah. at the end of the turn. Yeah. But okay, I like that one. But I think you would hold on to that. It's likely. Hey, that blasphemous act. We do be acting. I assume I can just cast that. How many creatures are in play? Uh, Currently, I mean, you, a you lot. just look at there are eight, board. 11, 12, okay. 13. Yeah, yeah you can cool. do that for a red mana. Um, but some of them are gobos, keep that in mind. I don't know if I've stressed that doesn't enough. Doesn't play into the, it at all. No, okay. <laughs> Wait, did you? Oh, I forgot you're still here. I cast them? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh! <laughs> Wow. All right, I will cast Blasphemous Act. Ah. Storm count oh two. <laughs> Storm count two. All right, wait, hold on. With that on the stack, I'm going to chaos warp the thing that's going to kill me. Oh, that's smart. Oh, yeah, wonderful. There you uh, go. All right, so uh, because of your chaos warp, uh, I'm going to flip over this secluded courtyard. It's a land. As this enters a battlefield, choose creature type. Tap, add colorless. Tap, add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast creature spell of the chosen type or activate an ability of a creature or creature card of the chosen type. I will select Phoenix as it comes out. So all my stuff will die. And I will draw two cards and take two damage from Midnight Reaper's then... ability. Down to 31. 31? He said 31, you killed me, your partner. He's 31. Th I don't remember that. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so you're. I'm rooting um, for you, Michael. I'm rooting for you, Skylar. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Wow, so cold of the professor there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just have like no one drop. 
got this. You got this. I don't mind if I make enemies with dead people. She's a real big threat. Mm. I, yeah, I mean, I yes. have no board. I have two cards in my hand. I'm gonna haunt you so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna the, I'm gonna haunt the hell out of you. <laughs> All right, I'll play this chromatic star. And these will return to your graveyards. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm still at one. All right. I wish I had all of Professor's lands still. I could have stormed off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we? Can I get the storm counter back? <laughs> yeah, storm counter zero. All right, so then I will untap everything. Doop, 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 and draw. That's eh, but I think that's probably what I should do is just recast my commander is probably the smart thing to do. Play a buried ruin. Uh, Cyrix, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. This comes back out. I yep. will attack Jesse with Cyrix. I will go from 28 to 25. All right, and then that yeah. will happen. I'm gonna tap this to put the special okay. boots onto that. It doesn't really matter about that other thing that was going on. And then yes, I believe I will pass a turn already. All right. I will untap and draw. And kill me. No. No, no, no. Well, maybe. If I could save you, I would. If you could have saved me, would you have? No. Oh. <laughs> you talked a, a big game. I didn't. I just was like, I'm going to win a game of Magic for the first time in my life, and then... Wow, you know, <laughs> first time in your life? That's a... That's on camera. Cool. Okay. I've technically never really? won on camera. Oh, really? Wow. This episode may air after one episode where I won on camera. I will play a mountain. Three... I kind of want to cast the backside of Bergy, but I feel like the, the smart thing to do is to cast my Bergy for double command attacks. I'm not going to lie, I'm scared of 1v1 Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, equip the Swift Foot Boots and then go to combat and swing three at Skylar. Oh, no. I'm dead. Go. All right. You can do this, Michael. We're all rooting for you. Yeah, even me. Uh, are, are you done? Yes. Before I start yes, untapping, I, I untap all the things. I'll draw. Uh, I would tap one to bring this in tapped. Okay. Uh, and then this gets sacrificed from okay. the feathered token. And you're at how much right now? I'm at 31. Uh, I'll tap these three to play Magma Quake. Uh, it deals X damage to each creature without flying and, and to each planeswalker. Mm -hmm. uh, so that will go away. Uh, I'll tap these two to play Felwar Stone. Okay. And I'll come and attack you for three. Okay, I'll go to, wow, me? Yes, um. you. <laughs> Uh, I'll go to 22. And then I believe at my end step, it says uh, if creature card left to a graveyard this turn, uh, target okay, Phoenix. This target Phoenix, yeah. Two, three. So I'm at Six. 19. Yeah. And you're at 31. I sure am. So much. Pass it over to you. Untap. Draw. That's not really what the doctor ordered. That's what the doctor ordered. Uh, <laughs> I was once called Doc in my life, so. Oh, really? Yeah. The doctor is in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so three for the normal mana. One, two, three commander attacks to cast Bergy mm. once again. Yes. She's done that a lot. Yes, she has. She's a god. She keeps coming back. Mm. I will equip her once again, mm. and I'll attack you for three. Ouch, pain. 28? 28 is correct. Pass the turn. All right, I will untippity taps and draw. Okay. You keep untippity tapping. I do like the untippity taps, though. Act like you're playing against Jesse. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And I'll play Grave Shifter. Well, I very kindly have all red lands, so this can tap for red if you would like. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> what does um, that do? It is a ch uh, so grave shifter, a two two. Uh, when this card enters the battlefield, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. Surprise, surprise! I will choose uh, Chainer. Okay. I will then cast a Chainer. Sure. And then I will come in for six. I'll go to thirteen. And I will pass the turn over to you. I love that your deck has such a strong like theme of the Phoenixes come back, and it's it's really actually impressive what we can put together for fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast a Dragon Rage Channeler. I love her. Storm count one. I'm gonna generate a red mana. Dragon Rage Channeler was my desktop picture for like. Oh yeah, months. no, the art's so cool. All of my uh, tokens have been so yeah, smudged. I'll, I'll, I've I'll, lost. I'll, I'll make you. I'll you, make you. Will one. you make me a red mana? Yeah. Where's okay. the, the thing? Over here. Yeah. All right, here's Thank here. You. here. 
Dragon Mage's channeler says, it's a one mana, one one human shaman. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, surveil one, which means look at the top card of my library, I may put that card into my graveyard. It also has delirium, as long as there are four, oh wow. I've been booed. <laughs> uh, that's okay, I thrive on the hatred. Uh, as long as there are four more card types among cards in your graveyard, Dragon Mage's channeler gets plus two plus two, has flying and attacks each combat if able. Is she delirious? Uh, let's see, enchantment, instant, Creature, sorcery. She do be delirious. She has four. So yeah, so I've tapped one for that. Made a, a red mana for that. You don't have to count the storm. Like, you don't have and to. And storm count if is one. I'm going to use this red mana She's and this yeah. to cast. I don't like that. Mind stone, uh, which will trigger both of these. I'm going to make another red mana and I'm going to surveil one. We'll put that in the graveyard. I'm then going to one, two, and. This red mana to cast Geist Flame Reservoir, which will trigger both of these. Okay. Geist Flame Reservoir is an artifact that says when you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a, a charge counter on Geist Flame Reservoir. I may pay one in a red and tap it to remove any number of charge counters to deal that much damage to any target. Or I may pay one in a red, tap it, exile the top card of my library. I may play that card this turn. So th that'll trigger. I'm going to get another red mana. This is my third spell, by the way. Sure. And surveil uh, with this. I will. Graveyard, this faithless looting. What do you have in your hand? Um, this resolves. I have the red mana. Um, and then I will use red, 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 or sorry, red colorless red to flash back this faithless looting, which will trigger all three of these and make my storm count four. No big deal. Let's make another red mana. There you go. Surveil. Um, yeah, we can graveyard that. Uh, make another red mana. This will uh, get a counter. And I will drop $50 two. Storm. One. Looking pretty good. Two. She can do Discarding it these. Um, this exiles. You kept that hard card in your hand, I don't like. Uh, and then I'm going to use red, red, red. Big reveal. This, this. It's a lot of mana. To cast flashback past in flames oh, from my graveyard. No. Uh, oh, so I'm sorry, Michael, trigger, you're in trouble. Trigger, 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 make comments. another red mana. It makes It's the card that gives all the instants and sorceries in my graveyard flashback. Oh, yeah, I'm probably dead. Um, Maybe. So, Surveil. Okay, put that in my graveyard. Ignite Memories, which means when this resolves, Ignite Memories. We have any cards in your hand? I have two cards in hand. Hmm, I wonder what the mana value of those cards might be. I don't um, know. This goes to You're dead. one, oh, wow. two. <laughs> You're so dead. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Here's the so that makes it red. And then. Um, in this place. Jesse, okay, so this it. resolves. These all get um, flashback. I have these, these charge counter. My storm count, I believe, is five still. Mm -hmm. um, flashing back, right of flame. So this is going to replace itself with the Bergy. Right of flame says add red, red, then add red for each card name. Right of flame in my graveyard. I won't have any. Uh, this will trigger graveyard aria of flame. Actually, I'll put that on top just in case. Uh, put three, and then. Um, yeah, made my red mana. This gets that. My storm count six. Okay. I make two extra red mana. Okay. This exiles. Uh, I don't think I can quite cast this ignite memories actually. Sick. Yet. Um, I, I hope if it goes to you, you can finish her off because yes. if you can't, you're in D. Yeah. What's your life total? Poopy. I'm at thirteen. Okay. Big score from my graveyard. Uh, this big score is a four mana instant. As an additional cost to this spell, discard a card. Draw two cards, create two treasure tokens. Were you removing this completely or putting out one? Uh, it's going to go, go to one. Uh, discard dual caster mage from my graveyard. Oh god. Make two treasure tokens. I'm probably dead. May I? Sure. <laughs> Move. Yeah. This is my treasure You're tokens. You're in my way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I have two treasure tokens. I'm going to draw two cards. One. Two. So this makes storm count seven, I think, right? Or no? Did, did I already do that? I'm, I'm sure the viewers will tell me. I'm gonna leave oh, it at yeah. six just in case. Six is plenty, I think. Um, yeah. I'll use a treasure token in this red mana to flash back. Grape shot. Storm uh -huh. count seven. 
Uh, oh. I will deal two to this, two to this, and three to you. Uh, which will generate that red mana. I'm also surveilling. I'll leave that on top. And then I'll use this treasure token and this red mana to cast. Oh, and this also got a counter. Mm -hmm. To cast uh, your friend and mine, Haze of Rage. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Storm count eight. So this uh, creatures I control get plus one plus zero until end of turn for each card I've cast, mm -hmm. which is just only this creature is going to get that though. So it's going to get plus eight, which puts you, which is makes it an eleven three. So I go from twenty eight to seventeen. Uh, eleven. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And then uh, that's all I can do. So right. I'll pass the turn. Okay, I need to untap and hope to to, to the Rakdos gods, to Rakdos daddy, please help me find something. I will draw. That's not something. What is this? No, I don't know what the rule is on this. I guess I, yes, so that's that. Okay. Um, I'll tap red. red. This is untapped. Red. No, that's red. Black. Black. Red. And red to play Ox of Agonis. Okay. So enters the battlefield, discard your hand, and then draw three cards. I'm discarding Sir Conrad the Grim and drawing three. I had one more mana last year, and I could have ignited memories. And you, <laughs> wait, did you take the three? You took the three from. You should take. You should be at fourteen, I think, because three of the three of the grape shot went to your face, and you. Oh were, yes, you were you're at correct. You're correct. Yeah, you're correct. And then you so took I'm at 11. fourteen. Yeah. Glad we caught that. Yeah. All right. So then. Oh. Wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I oh. if I lost <laughs> because of that. I'm yes. <laughs> So I will come in at you for six. Might as well not keep back blockers unless this, I mean, blocker might have, might matter. So I guess I would only come in for this three. Okay. I'll go to 10. And then I guess I'll just try and play blockers like that matters. That's what access your deck is, is on, is blockers. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tap these five and I'll play uh, Shard Phoenix. What? what does this card do? Uh, it says uh, it's a 2-2 Phoenix, and uh, sacrifice this card. Shard Phoenix deals two damage to each creature without flying. Uh, triple red, return this card from your graveyard to your hand. Play this ability only during your upkeep. Yeah, uh, I think that's it. Okay, I will untap. I will draw a card. Um, okay, I will start with red and a colorless. Uh, let's get the storm counter back. Where did it go? Uh, here. Oh, here it is. Oh, I'll make you. Oh. It's, uh, hey, that looks like wow. a storm. It's really messy. If you <laughs> want to make a new one, I wouldn't, I wouldn't an, say I'll no. I'll make you a new, new storm. Uh, I'm going to cast Reckless Impulse, which will trigger all three of these, making another red mana. Would you mind making me a red mana while you're doing that? I made you. Where's the one that says boo? Know. Oh, here it is. It still says boo, which is, I think, the same thing. <laughs> these are all getting... You're, you're smudging yeah. them I, well, all so much. Well, I have so, so many little things to keep mm -hmm. track of. Uh, surveil one. We'll leave that on top. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm nice you, Michael. Yeah. Uh, cast Grinning Ingus. Uh, or sorry, put exile these two cards. Um, and this goes here. This gets a counter, and I have that. I will cast Grinning Ingus. Man, where was this last turn? Uh, okay, so Grinning Ingus says sure. it's a two-two for three mana. Red, return Grinning Ingus to its owner's hand. Add two and a red to your mana pool. Play this ability only anytime you can play a sorcery. Oh, what that wow. means is with Bergy, yes. I can do this over and over again, yeah. uh, generating infinite storm, but I'm not netting any mana each time. Um, so you, ha you have to name the number though, or else that's not real. Yeah, like, you can't. Yeah, just well, I'm not going to do it yet. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to crack so this yeah. and draw a card. That's for that one person in chat's like, name a number value. Uh, cast Kark the Thumbless. Uh, using this, making a red mana. Mm -hmm. I'm going to activate Geist Flame Reservoir, exile the top card in my library. It's a Commander Sphere. Nice. I will cast the Commander Sphere. Mm -hmm. well, I don't, this should be at one, I think. I, yeah, cast this. This stays at one. Commander Sphere, three, uh, three mana artifact. Add one color of any color of my commander's identity, so it's red. I can sack it to draw a card. When this casts, I get a red mana. I'm going to uh, surveil this to the graveyard. I'm going to tap it for red mana. So I have two red mana in my pool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sack it to draw a card. I'm going to then cast Burning Inquiry. OK. So it's going to net equal a mana, surveil. Um, we'll leave that on top. Uh, uh, have the red mana it stays the same. Uh, I've, whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, I flip a coin. 
Uh, so I'm gonna use odd or even for this. Um, yeah. uh, we'll say even is I win the flip, odd is I lose the flip. If I lose the flip, return it to my owner's hand. I, lo I lost the flip, so this will come back. So it comes back to my hand, but because I'm using this red mana each time, I'm gonna keep casting it until eventually I get it right. So uh, <laughs> we will leave that on top still. Okay. Um, actually, no, we're gonna agree with that. Uh, try again. Okay, that time I win the flip, so I'm gonna do this twice. Okay. We'll do you first, I guess. Uh, draw three cards, and then we're gonna randomly determine which three you're gonna Can I discard? discard? Oh, no, no I draw, draw the three first. first. Yeah. Okay, one, so one, two, two, and three. Now you are uh, randomly discarding them, so if you wanna flip them over. Yes. Uh, and I'll just, we could roll dice, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna point at the two you'll keep. Okay. That one and that one. So everything like, else you keep, or everything else you throw out. Yeah, get rid of this. Three. Okay. Um, so a braid, village rights, okay, and mountain. Okay, you now I'll do the same thing, but I do it twice. So one, two, three. Uh, would you like to? Sure. Tell me which ones to get rid of. And it's basically a half-half deal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just those half. Uh, these three I'm getting rid of. Yeah. Okay. Mountain, Aria Flame, Double Vision. Do it again. One, two, three. I'm gonna shuffle them up a little bit. And all right, which three am I getting rid of? This half again, okay. Uh, Thermo Alchemist, Mountain Mountain. What do I have left? Uh, three, uh, red, surveil, cast Seething Thong, make three red mana. I think I maybe have it. Uh, surveil, go to the graveyard. Make three red, plus the one I get from this. Sure. This is also getting a counter from that, and it also got a counter from, I'm so sorry, viewers, this is very messy. Good. I'm also gonna trigger Kark the Thumbless, so. Uh, let's see, uh, even I win the flip. Okay, so double it, so I get 10 red mana. Uh, <laughs> uh, then I'm gonna cast Fists of Flame. Draw a card until end of turn, target creature gains plus one plus, trample and gets plus one plus zero for each card I've drawn this turn. So I've cast uh, uh, three, uh, or I've drawn six, I drew one from the Mind Stone I sacked, one from the Commander's Sphere, and I think that might be it. So that's okay. six, seven, eight. Oh, plus the card I drew for turn, plus this. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be t plus ten, plus ten. Okay. Or plus ten, plus zero, and trample. So draw a card. Using two mana, I get to surveil. Uh, and then this goes to nine. Uh, draw. Oh wait, but it it gets copied if I okay. Hold on, <laughs> sorry. It's copied, so I'll also give that to Bergy. So I'll draw two cards, so both of them get trample. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I think it's probably going to be good enough. Like Let's find out. Yeah, and then I'll uh, cast this. Uh, so expedite. yeah, expedite. We'll give uh, this one trample. Mm -hmm. Flip to see if it gets copied. It does not, it returns to my hand instead. Cast it again, it nets equal. This time I get copied, so both of these are getting trample, I'm drawing, or getting haste, I'm drawing two cards. Then I will cast Volcanic Torrent. Uh, this is, should be lethal. So, yeah. uh, ca it has Cascade, and then it deals X damage to each creature and Planeswalker, my opponent's control, where X is the number of spells I've cast this turn. So just so we can see, when it X cast it, Magmatic Insight, yeah. So, essentially, your entire Wait. board is gonna get wiped. Did you just do that? Uh, it hasn't happened yet. Okay. Um, oh, that's a really good point. You mean? Uh, <laughs> oh boy, I might have just lost the thing. So, as additional cost, the discard classic a land storm card, player doing draw all that two. and then blowing it up in their own face. So I, I draw two. Oh my god, this is so complicated. There's too much stuff going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so before I even discard that card, I have to see if I copy it. So this returns to my hand, and then I have to do the same for this. This gets copied. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't actually draw those two cards. I'll show these two cards. This is the point where the Magic Online client crashes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with this still on the stack because of that thing, I'm gonna uh, unexpected windfall. Okay. Discard this soul ring, uh, which gains this, mm -hmm. triggers graveyard that. Uh, and then see if I can copy it. 
You know, it's fifty dollars yeah. is going a long way. Of uh, yeah. try again, <laughs> surveil that to the graveyard. Uh, discarding another card uh, and see if we can copy it. We can't. Okay. So that's like I don't know how even many are on this, but this resolves. It deals damage to all your stuff and it kills all my stuff as well. Yeah, and I'm gonna sack this to do two damage to all the creatures without flying as well. So. Okay, they're all dead anyway. So after all that, essentially, if you weren't following what just happened, this is still in my hand. How could you not be following <laughs> what was yeah. happening? If you just, Why don't so, you, buddy? So let's, you were, let's, you just in case, let's show the two important play. cards that just happened. So can you get your, your thing out? Uh, I got greedy, uh, and I cast this uh, Volcanic Torrent, which, wiped Michael's board, but Michael had this creature that deals three damage to each of my creatures. So my Sick. Fist of Flames up creatures, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which were very, which had a lot of power, but did not gain toughness, uh, all had fewer than three toughness, so this killed it all. Right. However, on my next turn, this Geist Flame, I can activate to deal lethal damage to you. So it's your turn. Okay. Can you kill me? Because if not, I, I can still. I'm going to see. I'm going yeah. to find out. I'm gonna untap these three things, or all these things. I'm gonna draw a card. Not great. Oh my god! But I do it's have. It's really a, devolved at the end. <laughs> I do have an Ox of Agonis, which I'll probably start off with. Okay. Um, wait, actually, before I start with that, Michael, act like you know you're playing Magic, and act like you know you're playing Magic against Jesse. I will tap the Swamp to play Dark Ritual to have three black mana okay. floating, um, which. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we should just, just... just three dice. Three yeah, dice. Three, three dice. Fine. Three Sweet. pips. We, we're at the end game. <laughs> yes. So there's the three the three pips that go right there, uh, and then I will cast or I'll this spend dead, two. Though. Yes, I will spend two uh, red to cast Ox of Agonis. And you're at what right now? Mike? I'm at fourteen. Okay. And then I'll discard, it says, when this enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three cards, which I've done before, so, and I'm escaping it before I do that. I have to escape eight other cards. So I'll escape Dark Ritual, well, yes, Dark Ritual, a Mountain, probably not the Braid if I can find that back in my hand. A Village Rites, Mountain, Mountain, Reaper, Blasphemous Act, is that eight yet? Maybe the soul ring too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the soul ring. Those are all exiled. I draw three. <laughs> okay. You're at how much? I'm at ten. You're at ten. This has a counter on it. Am I escaping? Yes, so that's five. And then how much mana? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I have Exaxes, maybe? Perhaps, push maybeably. Five, seven, eight. That'd only be eight so far. Can you believe how long he's taking with this turn? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Some players. <laughs> Some players. Uh, and I'll play Torbran. <laughs> this is like my only saving grace, hopefully. I'm gonna tap this, put the Swift Foot Boots onto this one. Mm -hmm. So I think I could only read coming in for- it's five, six, seven? Yep. And I'll go to three. You do go to three. Um, and you're at 14? I'm at 14. I'm just going to tap these three to see what happens when I make it day or night, and then... Okay, so it becomes night? Yeah. It becomes night, I'm going to discard... Gain a life. Yeah. Up to 15. <laughs> Might matter. And then I get to draw a card, right? Because I discarded. Wish I had been keeping better track of my All right, dice. Alright, it's more. you. Okay, Pretty draw. Sure I just dot here. Okay. So, 11. Uh, tap. Yes, tap four to cast Unexpected Windfall, which I failed to cast last turn because of Kark the Thumbless. Mm. Uh, discard a card, draw two cards, create two treasure tokens. This is also going to trigger this. Uh, so I draw these two cards, and I create these two treasure tokens. Two, two treasures. These are treasures. Um, uh, and you're at 15. Oh, I have three floating black mana. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm at 15. And then I will cast... Gut shot, target at you. <laughs> uh, which puts a <laughs> counter on this. Yeah, this is, yeah. And then I will deal, I will move 10, 13, it's 13 damage. I think you're at one. Po it's possible I miscounted before, but that is my okay, mistake. I'm at one. And I 
pass the turn, which means you have lethal. Hell yeah. I'm going to untap. Uh, I will just draw something for a turn. That doesn't really matter. Uh, just because I like my commander, I will uh, tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then come in for a bunch of lethal. Good games. Good games. There you go. That was a, a big good, red off. Good games. Good games. <laughs> good games. Good games. All around. Okay. Oh, I mean, that's Uh-oh. fair. I deserve that. Although you would have killed Total. me on your turn, but now, that's fine. Now I see why people try to kill me all the time. I just, I just sneak in. Yeah. Commander. Commander. Hey. Fifty. Fun. So I, I would just say to anyone watching at home that says it's so boring when someone just brings out a crater hoof and wins instantly, or does the uh, uh, search for the sec- rise of sunrise or the second the second sun card, whatever the hell it is, and then it comes back up and they win instantly. You know, maybe stop complaining about those fast instant wins in Commander so much. I mean, you know, think of the alternative. And what would the alternative be? (laughs) Since you won, you can have my Commander deck. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much. It's a $50 deck. Deck lists in the description. We were just, we were just sort of kidding with the fact that we were like on the same team and stuff like that. He didn't really expect me to, to stay. Uh, aligned with him. That's that doesn't seem like something he would expect me to do. We were partners. Okay, we're partners. <laughs> I wasn't gonna betray her. I was just joking. I mean, I was gonna win eventually, but to just yank the rug out from under me like that, uh, it, it was deceitful. It was disgusting. It was despicable, and I think it goes against the spirit of Commander. Listen, it's not even my fault that I didn't win. My deck was about playing my opponent's decks, and if they didn't even come up with good decks, how am I supposed to win? Michael's okay, but like, I didn't even do anything, and I still beat Professor. And Jesse, while uh, I can't read, that's fine. At least, like, I can count. Good games. (laughs) <laughs> Rack those gang gang things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know about Professor, he was talking a big game about big creatures trying to like smash people's faces in. He talked a little bit too big. And then Jesse, you know, smartly leveled him out, took him out. I understand why she's getting that promotion. Uh, and then, you know, I had to make partners with uh, with Skylar over there. Uh, they were, they had all things going for them. They, I also wanted them to kind of even out the board out there, but, and they kind of did. And then I was able to kind of bounce back. You know, I know Jesse was seeing red with all the combos and, and the storming, and then she blacked out. If she wanted to do both red and black, she should have joined the Rakdos gang gang. You know what I'm saying? That's on her. So, you know, I end up winning it out, be a little patient, you know, get my Phoenixes some recursion out there, going back and forth. They came all out when it was time to uh, attack. And then I was able to just smash face and go in for the win. Ravnica, where ancient guilds rule a city that covers the world. For 10,000 years, their sacred laws protected the peace and cast light in the darkness. But nothing lasts forever, not even the blocks of Ravnica, which have been remastered. Shuffle up and play, Ravnica Remastered.